Okay, a uh, question for you. Um, how this Ridley-O is sponsored by Freaking.com. Are you with one of the municipalities? Do you represent one of the municipalities? No. Oh, okay. Are you with DRA? No, I'm, I'm with NHMA. Um, NH? The, with? the municipalities. Oh, you, you, you represent? Well, I, I am here on their behalf, yes. On behalf of some... Oh, NHMA? Yes. Oh, okay. A uh, question for you. Um, wait, how... Wait, wait, wait. Just for a second. I beg your pardon? Can I wait? Uh, I, I, I'm just not... I'm here to monitor this hearing. Okay, I seem to see the NHMA a lot. Um, how much tax money do you folks get exactly per year? I would uh, refer that question to our executive director, Judy Silva. Okay. Uh, Harriet Cady, a former state rep uh, in Deerfield, says that uh, she feels she's being forced into compelled speech by the money that's being given to your organization by the town of Deerfield. I would bring that up with uh, Harriet Cady. She's kind of hard to understand sometimes. I'll let you be the judge of that. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thanks much. Are you a rep? Yeah. Oh, a question for you. Sure. Uh, were you on the floor the other day when I guess Representative Aldrich was ordered not to film or photograph or something like that? No. Okay, you missed that. I guess supposedly there's a rule that is preventing reps from filming while they're on the House floor. Do you support that? I don't really know. I really never gave it a thought. I really never thought about it. I hadn't either. I always <laughs> assumed they could. In fact... Oh, no. I, I, years ago, we weren't even allowed to have a camera. We weren't allowed to have a computer. Newspaper. All we had was the uh, bulletin. So. so maybe we are getting more freedom after all. We're getting more freedom. <laughs> All right, what's your name? Herb Richardson. Okay, Mr. Richardson, thank you. Are you a state rep? Good morning, yeah. Uh, question for you. Um, were you on the floor when uh, Representative Aldrich was uh, ordered not to film? Who? You're a state rep, right? Right. Uh, were you on the floor when, state, uh, when uh, Glenn Aldrich, the state rep, was ordered not to film? Did you see that? Did you witness it? No. Were you aware of this house rule that was apparently trying to ban uh, the House members from filming no. on the floor. Would you support or oppose something like that? Well, it all depends. I'd have to listen to the testimony that's been given and uh, what implications it would have and for what reason. For what reason, of course, they want, want to implement that. So uh, basically, I am open to people giving the opportunity, you know, to do, uh, you know, what they, under the Constitution, you know. And uh, again, if it does not conflict with the Constitution, you know, um, and it is a good thing, and then I probably would vote for it, and if it's not, then I'd vote against it. All right. What's your name? Roger. Roger Berube. Okay, Mr. Berube, thanks for your, you, for your transparency. Huh? Thanks for your transparency. I'm, I'm Ridley. Okay. Poor man's TV station. Well, uh, it's, it's a poor man's TV station. Yeah, it's okay. It yeah. No problem. Yeah. So uh, I guess the thing is, they wanted to ban. It surprised me they would do that. Yes, but I've actually heard there have been other crazy bans in the past. So this one might not last either. I don't think. I don't think it would stand. Uh, yeah. you know, it hasn't gotten much media attention. The, the whole incident. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, I don't think it would stand. But whatever the uh, according to the constitution you know yeah i think it's dead on arrivals <laughs> we'll see
At least it's not a restriction on the public in general, although, I mean, we're restricted from even going into the room, you know, during times like that, so. Yeah, well, you're restricted because there's other reasons, you know, but uh, again, uh, I guess if you're cleared, you should be able to be cleared, you know, to go to, you know, where the people stand in the rear of the building. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that's where we're on the channel. Hi, how are you? Hello, Representative. How are you doing? I like your hat. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, like I said, you know, it's, it's just one of those things, you know. But people have a right to put in any bill they want, it, you know. That's the other thing. <laughs> yeah. Don't forget, we got 400 legislators. <laughs> yeah. That's why it's, it's as good as it is, probably. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Absolutely. I've been here 20 years, so, you know. All right. I've heard all of it. I've retired from the Navy uh, uh, fairly young, so, you know, I said I'm yet young. Okay. I've heard just about everything. Yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. All right, good to meet you too. You Thanks for your day. transparency. Not everybody answers my questions. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take care. <laughs> Gotta speak a little French. Un peu. <laughs> now, where are you from? You. Je ne suis pas. Um, je ne suis pas um, de Quebec. Is, did I say that correctly? Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah. My body! My property! You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists. Keene's advantages are compelling. For details, visit freekeen.com.